Hello everyone, welcome back to another one of my videos and this is the last bow tutorial on the rights and drug uh, the fire bow upgrade now first of all, sorry this has taken so long to actually bring out to you guys and uh, give it to you and so on I did do it um, quite thoroughly before and got it all edited and things and uh, thought that it was alright but there were parts of it that I wasn't happy about and just didn't look right. Uh took too long to get through certain bits as well and so I wanted to stop that and change it and go back and do it again. And that's what I've done. Um, so that's what I've done here. Now, first of all, this game player is Born Phoenix and he was one of the people in my game when we did these bow upgrades. Uh, so he's the guy in this game play doing all this. I will say that he did not make my life easy at all when it came to doing this bow upgrade tutorial. Uh, he made it quite difficult. But, you know, I managed to um, find ways to make it work. And that is partly why it has taken so long to get this out. <laughs> there you go. Um, I managed to get this into a reasonable video that makes sense and I can go through it very easily uh, for you guys and get my points across as best as possible. So. Um, I've managed to do that this time, so that's what we're going to do in this video. Um, so, yeah, I hope you guys will enjoy it. Uh, so, I guess let's get on with it, shall we? So, first of all, if you don't already have the normal bow, which is what uh, Paul and Felix is holding there, um, there is like plenty of tutorials on YouTube and that, and I've also got my one, which is going to come out after this video now, <laughs> um, on how to obtain the normal bow. Um, but you just have to fill up dragon heads around the map and then you'll get the normal bow which um, he's holding right there from where the knight's tomb is and yes you can go and pick that up but when you pick that up you'll have this bow so at this point I'm going to presume that you already have the bow um, the normal one so make sure you pick it up come up here towards the clock tower the clock tower is just above um, the place where you do the skull bows the little ritual thing with the urn um, and if you don't know where that is, it's literally below this part and if you go down this tunnel, you'll run past Mule Kick. Um, but yeah, it's above here and this is the clock tower bit. So come into the clock tower, you'll see these stairs over here on your left. Run up the stairs and you'll see this wall which you're going to see right now. Um, there you go, as you can see there's the wall right there and um, it's all lit up and everything so it's very easy to see and you'll see it has this little symbol on it now that symbol is the symbol um, indicating the fire bow tutorial you can also call this bow the earth bow in case uh, you call it that but I'm going to call it fire bow for this tutorial anyway, um, so yes that is the fire bow symbol um, just make sure you know that, <laughs> just in general uh, so it's very simple this bit, all you have to do is just fire an arrow into this wall, it'll break open and this arrow will fall out of the wall as you will see here. So there you go, those are the bits of the arrow which are going to be starting to upgrade. Um, and all you have to do is just walk up to this little orange mist with the bits of the arrow. Use your interactive button, say uh, F, X or square, depending what console you're on, uh, to pick it up. Once you pick it up, um, depending what character you are, in this case Storm Phoenix is Takio, but it could be any other character, it doesn't matter, um, you will get this little symbol here up the top in the corner of your screen. It will be a little round circle with an arrow that's bent and broken in it, and uh, obviously it will be your character there. Um, which means that this bow is assigned to you, so you can't get anybody else to do this bow uh, until the person here, in this case Born Phoenix has finished the bow upgrade. Nobody else can do this upgrade with him. It has to be him doing it. I want to make sure I get that point across. I haven't got that point across in the other bow tutorials and I know people are questioned about it. So I want to get that point across in this video. As soon as you pick up that arrow, that bow upgrade is assigned to that player. No one else can help out with that bow upgrade at all. It's just that player that can do it. I want to make sure I get that across to everyone because I know a lot of people are questioning about it. 
So I want to make sure that people understand that. <laughs> um, so don't think that you can go and do these soul bits and get someone else to kill zombies for you um, while you're collecting souls for your certain part of your bow. It won't work. It has to be going from you. So remember that. <laughs> anyway, well, coming back to this symbol, this is the symbol that you're going to see um, when you go through each step of this upgrading process. And what will happen is at the moment it's a black circle with nothing in it. Um, but when you go through each step slowly, uh, this black circle will have these white bits in it. So it will have a little white bit and then a split. And it will keep doing this all the way around to the very top again um, in a big circle for each step that you do through this upgrade process. Um, and also that arrow will be bent and we'll see it again later on, um, straight again and stuff. Um, but what I'm saying is I'm not going to go through the symbol on each step. I'm only going to go through it at the beginning here and at the end um, as you don't really need to see the symbol constantly. You may see it every once in a while pop up and if you do then I might go through it. But I know a lot of people don't want me to go through it that much so that's why I'm skipping it quite a bit. Anyway, this is step one. So let's move on to step two. So, so for step two, um, you need to come down to the rocket site. So make sure you've opened up to the rocket site, um, which is through the teleporter, if you didn't know that. And when you're down here, you need to wait for a launch test, like a rocket launch test. Um, so make sure you get behind the hangar doors when the launch test goes on, because if you're out there, you'll die, uh, in case you didn't know that. Um, and you need to stay down here for this bit if you're doing this bow. You cannot fling up to the top. You need to stay down here for this. So uh, make sure that you wait for the rocket to test launch. This could take a little while. The longest it will ever be if it's just gone off is five minutes. Five minutes precise is the charge time again until it will go off the next time. Unless you start another wave, uh, it sometimes goes off a bit quicker. But um, yes, in this case it was five minutes for Dan to be waiting and so after it started going off he came back here behind these hangar doors as you can see. I advise strongly to have another player if you're playing with more players to keep a zombie alive at the end of the round because uh, it means that they won't be running around in here with a zombie trying to kill them and it's not great running around down here with a zombie, I must be honest. So. Uh, it would be easier if someone else has it, but obviously if you're doing this solo, you can't help it. You just have to run around here with a zombie following you. Um, but yes, wait for the rocket to finish, then once it's finished and the hangar doors open, you'll see what comes next. Test complete. Systems functioning normally. Okay, so... As soon as that test rocket's complete, you need to do this quickly, okay? Don't waste time getting a gobble gum or something like that. Just run straight out of those hangar doors. Look to your right, and you will see right here, there's this little glowing rock. It's like a little volcano rock with an orange glow there. You need to charge your bow up and shoot precisely on the orange sparking dot bar. What this will do is this will explode this, it will fly up to the top of the map and you'll see the rest in a minute. But make sure you don't waste time um, afterwards as soon as that test rocket's done because this will disappear. It does disappear quickly, so honestly, <laughs> just run out, look to your right, charge up your bow, shoot straight at the orange dot or else you're going to miss it and you'll have to wait again for another test rocket to come along. So anyway, that's step two, and you'll see what happens here when you shoot it. Uh, I also went back again and got a better look at it when he shoots it again, and it flies right up to the top, and you can see that, which you'll see in a minute. Uh, here we go. Yes, I have gone back over this in theatre mode to get some better looks at certain parts of the Easter egg for you guys. 
So there you go, that's what it will do, is it will shoot that all the way up to the top of the map. And it will create this big ball of flame up top there. Okay, so once you've done that, you've done step two. Well done. The next step is basically the hardest step of this boat upgrade. It's very challenging. Okay, so I'm going to say this to everyone. If you're not great at being flung up in the air at a really fast pace and shooting at the ground at these little symbols, which you're going to need to do here really quickly and you find it very difficult, I advise you not to do this bow. I advise you to go and do a different bow, okay? Just because it is very difficult to hit these symbols. Obviously, with practice, you'll do better. But I'm saying now, just take your time. Um, try and get your aim as perfect as possible. This video will show you the precise spots you need to aim. And you'll see here at this point how easy it is to miss because I've got a point of Born Phoenix here actually missing his shot because he screwed up the aim spot and everything, but this is um, going to show you precisely where you need to aim and where to shoot when you get in these Wonder Spheres. Also, if you don't have enough money, I'd advise you to have someone else come along and buy the Wonder Sphere for you. Even then, I would still recommend that you get someone else to come along and buy the Wonder Sphere for you, even if you have the money, because you need to concentrate here at shooting these symbols. You really need to concentrate. Trying to buy the Wonder Sphere and concentrate at the same time is rather challenging. It can be done, but I wouldn't recommend it. Um, but this is the hardest step, step three. So you're going to see here that Dan uh, Vaughan Felix is going to come into this one. This, uh, he's going to aim, and this is the one where he misses, but I'm going to show you what it's like. So he charges up his bow. You must charge up your bow for this, uh, or else you're not going to hit these symbols. So make sure you charge up your bow. And as you can see, I come along and I buy the one to say for him. So make sure you communicate well with each other as well. And as you can see, that was the little symbol that he tried to hit. Um, this little orange symbol, which I might go back quickly and try and show you again. Uh, there we go. So this is the little orange symbol he was trying to hit while he's got a charge up low. This is not easy, guys, okay? This really is not easy, but... Um, this is where he mucks up and misses because he got the wrong aim at the whole entire symbol and he wasn't aiming in the right position and he missed them um, while doing it. But obviously the next ones that you're going to see he does succeed in um, and it's probably the best aim spot for you to go for anyway. But make sure if you have someone else flinging you in this one, the sphere, that you communicate well with each other because you need to communicate well saying, are you ready to be flung? Um, if they say no, obviously don't do it, <laughs> but communicate with each other, don't just fling them without them being ready because else they're never going to hit it. You need to take your time and get set up for this or else you really are not going to hit these. This is a serious, <laughs> serious fact that um, I'm trying to get this point across to you because I know so many people that have tried to do this boat and have screwed up this step because either they haven't concentrated on the spot they're aiming for they haven't charged up the bow, they haven't concentrated on buying the Wonder Sphere, um, and also like trying to hit the symbol at the same time, they just bought it and forgot about the symbol or something, um, and also they've had like their friend just launch it without them being ready, and I've seen so many cases of this, it's just unbelievable. Um, this is why I'm saying make sure you get these things right, or else you're going to miss the symbols. There's no doubt about it, you will miss them. I'm trying to get that point across to you because it is quite important. <laughs> but anyway, that is the symbol you need to aim for in this spot, anyway, down by the uh, rocket. So if you want to note that, uh, that's what it is. But you're going to see him come back to this and hit it again later. Um, but he's going to do the other two, first of all. But I'll get to that when we get to it. As you can see there, he completely screwed up the shot and had no idea <laughs> precisely what he was shooting at because uh, he didn't get his aim right. Okay, so anyway, that was one of the spots, and that was just an example of him missing. So this is another one, and he actually bought this one to swear, I believe, himself to do this, which is um, pretty brave. <laughs> but anyway, this one's probably the easy one to do that on compared to the others, really. 
but this one is in this room above Double Tap. If you don't know what Double Tap is, it's where that little gate is and uh, where all those cars are floating about down by that bridge. Um, it's also out to the right of the spawn room. And it's basically this little room above Double Tap when you come up the stairs and you come in here. Um, you'll see this one just here. here. Come in here, make sure you charge up the bow again, make sure it's charged up, get it in the right aim spot. In this video, Dan has got this in the precise spot for aiming. Um, so just try and copy what he does in this. I can't really give you any more advice than that. Um, just try and get it in the same position that he does. It's the best I can offer you for the advice. Um, for this one, I would say that you don't definitely need two people for uh, Dan didn't use two people in this. Um, if you're wondering who Dan is, by the way, it's Born Phoenix, but I thought you guys might have figured it out. Uh, but I just thought I'd let you know that. Um, but yes, basically, two people you can have in here to help you out if you really don't feel that confident about it. But in this case, uh, Born Phoenix came along and did it himself. Um, but yeah, this is what he does. So that's the aim spot he's got it in. He looks down. It's best to look down, surprisingly, for these wonders rather than up. Um, you might understand why when you're getting flung. It's not as easy as you think to explain why. But yes, uh, you make sure you charge up your bow again, like I said before. Get it aimed in the right spot. Fling yourself, and that's the spot he's trying to shoot. And as you can see, he got it right on target. And you'll be able to tell when you hit the target because it will actually light up and there'll be a flame there coming out of some sort of bleh, coming out of some of the symbols um so you know that you'll hit it uh this is the second one to say that he's going to to do as you can see you'll see that he gets this one in the right position he gets it right um and here we go he aims it at this spot here um try and aim it at the best. I've actually come up with like a reasonable strategy for aiming on this one. You can copy Dan's because it makes sense to copy it and he's got it right. But when I've done this bow before, I've aimed sort of about there. There's like this little mark that you can aim at there. Um, he aims at the bottom of this little cog bit here. I aim just about here on the cog. So about, uh, let's see, one, two, three pretty much four on the uh, cockpit there but I would advise you to look at Dan's way as I can't really show you my way without me doing it um, but try and copy his way and basically you will hit that middle bit there so make sure you shoot the middle one while you're going across I'm afraid it's not easy for me to pause this while he's doing it guys I'll get a good view of it um, it doesn't really work that well <laughs> in theater mode this bit which is one of the big bits I've had trouble trying to get um, uh, right and so on in this video which is why it took so long but yeah you need to hit that middle bit so that's like in the middle of the map by one of the other wonder spheres where a pack punch is uh, you will see that he runs up to it in a sec here and there it is as you can see that's the middle bit there with these little um, thingies here which I forgot the name of which is not great um, but yeah there's the pack punch over there on the right and the one that's here on the left and as you can see it's all lit up with the flames around it proving that he hit it and if you stand in these once you've hit them you'll see this orange glow around your screen and basically this is going to be after step three here but I just thought I'd show you what it looks like here as Dan's standing in it um, but obviously we've got one more symbol to hit in uh, part 3 before we move on to this bit, which is part 4. Uh, but yeah, anyway, that's this. I'll turn it down a bit as well. Okay, so this is the last one again that he went to before, if you remember at the beginning. But uh, screwed up. So, there we go. Right, this is the last one to say that you need to launch yourself out from. This is the one down by the rocket site. I highly recommend for this that you have someone else launch you from this again, but Dan was feeling, I don't know, adventurous <laughs> and willing to take a risk, and so he came along and did it himself. And this is the spot he aims at. I really advise you try and copy this one precisely as he does um, with his shot, because 
this is a really difficult symbol to hit. And this is the same way that I aim as well as Dan does here in this spot. And normally I hit it because of that. But this one is a really difficult symbol to hit. And once you hit this symbol, guys, and you've done it, you've got part three. And also when you hit it, you should hear a sound indicating that you've done it right. If you don't hear that sound, then that means you haven't done it right. So let's watch Dan. So there you go, things up in the air. And he actually does something a little strange compared to what I would do. He does um, like charge it up there, obviously, uh, aiming downwards in the middle <coughs> and shoots up. But he does it rather later than me when he comes to shoot that arrow at the uh, symbol. Um, I wouldn't recommend doing it quite like that, but you can if you wish. I actually tend to aim it in the middle of there and then start moving right as soon as I go up in the air a little bit. And then I'll get to just before I get to that symbol in my sight, shoot, and then I'll hit it straight on. Um, whereas he seems to do it much later on, just before he lands. You can do it that way. It's up to you which way you want to do it. But I don't do it like that. Anyway, this is what happens when it's turned on, obviously. Or you hit it. Uh, there you go. There's all the symbol. And again, you are now ready to move on. So that's step three done. You get to step four now, which is um, these symbols that you've hit with these arrows. You will see they're all lit up. You stand in it. There will be this little orange bit around your screen, as you can sort of see here. Um, and you just need to stand and stay in these symbols and kill zombies around them. Once you kill enough zombies around them, a big burst of flames will come up in the middle of the symbol, and you will have done that um, symbol here. Um, and then you have to move on to the next two. But yeah, you just need to charge up all these symbols and you've done step four then. Um, so here's an example of Dan filling it up. He also was doing this at the same time as Brown Crimson was doing the wolf bow. And obviously I made a tutorial of Brown Crimson doing that. Uh, and yeah, they did it at exactly the same time as each other here. Which was pretty cool and I've never seen this happen. So it's pretty rare for me to see that. Um, hey? kind of looks cool, <laughs> I must be honest. Uh, but when you shoot zombies, as you can see, this little orange ball of flame will float towards the little symbol that you're standing in, as you can see there. And you just need to do this enough until the symbol um, bursts up in flames, and then you've done it. As you can see there, it bursts up in a big, big ball of red flames. It's not actually orange, it's red. Um, to indicate that you've done it right. I average the amount of zombies you need to kill there at about probably 10, maybe a bit less, something like that. It's probably an average of 10. Anyway, you need to do that for each of the symbols. So he's done this symbol here, which is the symbol just outside double tap, in case you didn't know that. The second symbol, which you saw earlier, is in the middle of the map by the Pack-a-Punch up top and the Wonder Sphere, which leads down to the rocket site. Uh, you saw Born Phoenix in this earlier when I was showing you this bit. Basically, again, just kill zombies here around the circle. I do tend to leave this on, like showing precisely how many um, zombies you need to kill around these symbols, just to give you an average rough idea. But some points during this, I might skip through it a little bit, as it does take a long time. Unfortunately, Dan is a tad bit slow at these things. But anyway, yes, I might end up doing that a little bit. But there you go, that symbol's done, as you can see. And then finally, he moves on to this symbol over here, which is literally just across from that other symbol you saw earlier. Just run down those stairs to your left, and you'll come to this symbol here, which is by these computers and the clock tower. Again, stand in the symbol, kill zombies around it until it bursts up in flames. And then you'll be done with step four and you'll be ready to move on to step five. So we're just going to watch Dan here kill a few zombies. May possibly skip forward a little bit. Just to make it a tad bit faster. I don't particularly want to leave you guys here bored forevermore. 
and I can understand you guys not wanting to sit here watching him constantly kills on this. <laughs> there we go. And as you can see, I might point this out here because um, there's a good chance for me to explain this bit as well. Um, the flame is now burst up and he's completed step four and he'll be moving on to step five in a second. But before I go on to step five, I know I said I would only explain about this symbol at the beginning and the end, but I thought I'd like to point out something else here while um, it's showing. Uh, you can see these little white bits of the bits I was going on about filling up as you go through each step. I'd also like to point out at the moment there's these little gaps in between each of these little white lines. Um, later on at the end of the Easter egg that will become full um, and there will be no gaps. It will be completely fill up as a white circle and yeah you'll see the rest later on but I thought I'd just show you that quickly. Uh, so now we're moving on to step 5 which is right next to you if you were here. Going to the clock tower, walk straight up to the top of the stairs to where you were at the beginning where you've got your arrow. Maybe you remember at that wall, and you'll see these little cogwheels walk up to them and interact with them, so FX or X, and then they all start spinning. And when they start spinning, and we get down to look at the clock wheels, you will see these little, well, it, it varies, okay? So you'll see these little symbols here on this little bit here. This is the symbol that Born Phoenix got for his bow in this game. Now, for this step, you need to hit some fireplaces that are around the map. Each fireplace is basically next to where your uh, symbol is that you just lit on fire. So the symbol that was just outside that he just finished with a minute ago by the computers and just outside this clock tower, that will be a different symbol, which obviously I can't show you on here or anything because this is the only one he's got, but... Um, the fireplace that he needs to go to is in the communication room, which is where the uh, speed cola perk is and stuff. Just if you go down those stairs from where the symbol is, um, and you walk through the courtyard and through that room, and then right to the very back where you charged up your dragon head, uh, you will see there's a fireplace there. And each fireplace, when you walk up to it just normally, there's a little symbol in there which will show you which symbol you need to find. So this symbol here is what you will see inside the fireplace that you need. Um, but yes, anyway, I'm describing all the fireplaces before I go into what this bit is here. Um, so what you need to do there is you will need to go to that symbol. You will need to charge up your bow and you will need to shoot it um, in the best place possible to get through this as quickly as possible. So you need to charge the arrow up, shoot it in the middle of the courtyard if you're there by that fireplace um, to get to the communication fireplace. Shoot that arrow there, run down into this little lava volcano-like pit thing that it's created, stand in it or close to it, You'll see these little orange symbol things around your screen that you saw earlier um, when you were standing in those rings. You need to make sure that stays on your screen while you shoot this arrow um, to move this little volcano. But try and stay near it so that you can get a good aim at whatever you need to aim at. Um, and then again, when you're in that courtyard, shoot another one. Make sure it's a charge shot. It needs to be a charge shot. Um, shoot it again to the, about the staircase by the communication room, run in there, and then you can either choose to go left or right, it doesn't really matter to be honest. Um, I normally go to the left, shoot the arrow again, and you'll go to the left um, around the computers, make sure you get a good angle, remember, and then you'll find the shot will go into the fireplace. So that's that fireplace, and that was just me describing what you would need to do. Um, the second fireplace is in the middle. You can actually also, I, I probably should point this out, each symbol you can go to whatever symbol you like to shoot these volcanoes to get to whatever fireplace you like. It doesn't actually matter because I actually tried it myself where a lot of people said that you had to go to a specific symbol um, which was for the specific fireplace. It didn't seem, unless when I did it, it was a slight glitch. I'm not certain. I've only upgraded this bow once before because this is not really a bow I use much. Um, but I'm just telling you what I know because I have done it before and things like that. 
Um, but this might have been a glitch for me, I'm not sure. But I was there anyway, but I could go to any symbol I wanted that I charged up earlier from shooting it and killing all the zombies and those symbols and charge up this shot and make that volcano go to whichever fireplace I wanted. So I could go to any of those round symbols and go to the fireplace I wanted. It didn't have to be a specific symbol to a specific fireplace. <clears throat> um, I honestly don't know if that was a glitch. It might have been, so I don't know, don't take my word completely for it. Uh, but I think you can go to any symbol you want to get to your fireplace. Um, but anyway, the other fireplaces are, one is in Samantha's, you know Samantha's room basically, you go across out of Samantha's room um, towards, if you go to the right, if you just enter Samantha's room, go to the right and you'll uh, end up seeing this fireplace across from it, <clears throat> and you go in there for that one, and that will have a different symbol. And then the last symbol, which is this symbol here, um, and that's what you're going to see in this video. You need to basically go to a fireplace, which is just um, when you're charging up the first dragon head in the first courtyard. There'll be a staircase to your right. You need to walk up that staircase, and there'll be a little room with a wonder sphere in it. Um, if you look to your left, you'll see this little fireplace in that room, and you need to basically shoot your shot in there. So you're going to see what Dan does here, because he will be able to show you it a lot better than I can describe it, but I just thought I'd go through those things for you, as you're not going to actually see <coughs> all the fireplaces in this video, but I just wanted to describe where they all were. Uh, there should only be three. I don't believe there are four. If there are, I'm sure people in the comments will let you know, but I believe there's only three fireplaces. Remember again, I have only upgraded this bow once before, um, and my fireplace was actually in the communications center, uh, so I knew where to go for that, and I also knew about the other two anyway, um, and obviously Dan had to go to that fireplace that I was talking about with the Wonder Sphere room. Um, anyway, so I don't think there are four, I think there's only three. But as you can see here, he's charging up his shot, when he shoots it, he's got to get this in the right way as well, by the way. So he shoots it, he has to stand in that circle at the beginning in order to do this. You can't just charge up your shot any way you like and shoot it. Make sure you're in a symbol, charge your shot up, shoot it, um, and try and, if you're going for this fireplace that Dan's going for in the Wonder Sphere room, then try and do it the way he's doing it. It's actually quite a clever way of doing it, which I never really expected to see anyone do, but... Um, you'll probably like the way he does it because he kind of sort of simplifies it down a bit and makes it a lot faster. Um, you'll understand why when you see more of it in a second. But yes, um, when you shoot a shot and charge it up, again, make sure they're charged shots. <coughs> then you can run into this little volcano, which is what he's in right now. And the little orange bit will come up on your screen, as you can see. <coughs> and you don't have to stand in the volcano. You can stand just outside it, but obviously if this orange vanishes off your uh, screen, then you're not in the actual area for the volcano anymore. So try and keep in the area and then shoot your next shot in order to get to your fireplace. Um, so he walks over there. And then again, he will go over there. And now... This is where he did something interesting for me, and you'll see it in a second. He, in this one, he actually missed, which was a bit unfortunate. Or why I say missed, it actually ended up landing outside the map. But um, when I come back to it in a second, where he actually gets another fire pit over here, the volcano thingy over there, and then shoots it again, he actually gets it to work. But what he was trying here was to shoot up in the air and hopefully make it land on the walkway. Uh, where the Wonder Sphere thingy is. Um, unfortunately, in this it landed outside the map, as you'll be able to tell in a minute, uh, which was unlucky. But, yeah, he uh, tried to do that, which is a nice, simple way of getting this done quickly. Um, and I kind of like that idea. But, yeah, there you go. As you can see, he shot it. But it ended up landing outside of one of the, um, like, playable area bits. <laughs> um, so, yes, yeah, so come and do it again. 
But he came over here to this wall to make it more simple, and then shot an arrow. And instead of um, hitting the precise walkway, he actually managed to hit just underneath it. And he managed to somehow make this work. I don't know precisely how he managed to make this work, but you'll see in a minute. It landed underneath, but when he uh, stood out here, he was actually in the symbol, um, in the little lava pit, apparently. Uh, I don't quite know how he did that, but there you go. <clears throat> and basically, he stood in that little fire pit up top somehow. Uh, and this is the room I was talking about, the Wonder Sphere. But if you see that fireplace over there at the back, uh, you would normally see that symbol, like I was showing you earlier, in the clock tower. Charge up your bow or just single shot it. It doesn't matter at this point, I don't believe. Uh, I did charge my bow shot up, so um, I would advise you charging your bow shot up. <clears throat> and then just shoot the arrow at that fire blaze, and it will light up with fire, and you'll get a max ammo from it. Now, the next thing you need to do is go and interact with that fireplace, and you'll see what happens next. Once he's finished killing zombies. <laughs> uh, but yes, anyway, interact with the fireplace as you can see, and then it will eventually sort of turn off and disappear. Kind of. Um, and then you need to head back up to the middle of the map again, where I was talking about Pack Punch and that earlier. And you'll see this big orange ball of flame, as you can see right there in the middle. Walk up to it and interact with it, so FX or square. Um, but I'm also going to show you what happens just in general when you hit that fireplace. This is the thing that will spawn in the middle of the map there. <coughs> and it will come down and sort of just randomly explode. And then it will form another ball. And then obviously you need to come up and interact with it, which you're going to see in a minute. Dan does uh, when he gets up here and interacts with it. And then basically this big ball of flame will go up into the air and explode and you'll get your arrow from it. So here we go, rocks all like go into it, it all go mental and then explode. And then what will happen is your arrow, or the fire arrow, will land down here in this pit and you can go and pick it up. And as you can see, Dan finally picked it up. Um, so at this point you've done all the steps for the fire arrow, but there's still one thing left to do. But before we get onto that, I just want to quickly go back to the symbol again, because I said I'll come back to it later on. You can see the arrow that was originally bent is now straight and actually made as you can tell and also that circle is now full now what you need to do for this last bit in order to finish this upgrade is take your uh, new arrow that you just picked up and <coughs> come down to this ritual area which is the base of the pyramid and you'll see these little boxes there's a box here so as you're coming down those stairs from the night area uh, coming out here you'll see that your box on your right is the electric bow box and the one on the left over here is the fire bow box. So basically just run down these stairs and use your interactive button, so FX or square, and you will place the arrow inside the box and then basically all you have to do here is just kill zombies. Now again, I'm going to stress this in this video too. <coughs> I've done it in the other ones other than the electric one. When you're charging your bow up here, you need to kill zombies within this playable area. So you can kill them on the staircase, you can kill them in this bit here. You cannot kill them out there. <laughs> if you kill zombies out here, like beyond the boundary of the staircase, outside it, you're not going to gain any souls from it. No souls are going to go to the chest. You have to kill zombies in this staircase area and here. So try and stay around here and kill zombies in here. Um, and you will get souls going towards your box, okay? Needed to stress that again. But anyway, I go out um, with a better view of this just to show you it a little bit more. So, when you kill zombies with the fire bow, um, bit here to collect souls, you'll actually see these little orange balls of flames like you saw earlier go towards the box. So, there you go, there's an orange ball going towards the box. And like I said, just stay around in here and kill zombies and eventually you will get a little ball of flame going to the box <coughs> and keep doing this until it's full you'll know when it's full because either when you kill a zombie you won't see a soul fly towards it or you should just generally hear a little ding sound um, 
which will indicate that you finished it. And then you, after that, just need to walk up to the box, interact with it, say FX or square. Uh, it will make your arrow go like down into the box, a big ball of like a I don't even know what to call it. It's like a signal flare thing. <laughs> um, it's a beam of some sort. Will um, come out, and then uh, the bow will come out after that. But anyway, I'm going to slightly. Oh, actually, I think I did it myself before. Anyway, possibly. I know I slightly had to skip this because Dan kept on dying. Yes, it was very exciting. Um, but yes, anyway. I think I skipped most of this bit and just got straight to the part where he picks up the bow. Um, is this where he picks it up? Yes. So I had to skip most of that because he kept on dying at most points, which wasn't very helpful, I must say. Um, but on average, it will take you about a round, maybe two, if you're on a lower round, um, in order to fill up your chest, and then eventually you will be done. So what he did there is he ran up to the box, pressed FX or square, and interacted with it. The arrow went in. This beam, as you can see I was talking about here, will come out of the box, and then your bow will come out of the box, and you can go and pick it up. <coughs> and there it is. Then you can walk up to it and pick it up, which he does in a second. And that's what the fire bow looks like. You get a better angle of it here as well. <coughs> So yes, once you charge up all the box from that and picked up your bow, you now have the fire bow or the earth bow, whatever you want to call it. But you now have done all the upgrading process for it and you officially have the bow. Also, when you pick up that bow, you will get a little symbol like the one I was showing you earlier with a little circle on that. Uh, that circle will now be a full white circle. <coughs> the arrow will still be straight in it. And you'll have the symbol of the fire bow in the background. And you've done it. You've then upgraded the bow. And not only this person who's upgraded it can have it. Obviously, if they put it back and they go and get another bow or something, another player can also pick it up and use it as well. So that's great. It's very useful. <clears throat> but this is what the bow looks like, as you can see. Uh, it looks pretty sweet. It's covered in fire and stuff. And it's got little rocks on it and so on. Um, and the arrows all uh, fiery and so on and yep that's what it looks like so uh, the last thing I'm going to show you here before I completely do my outro and that is what the bow does when you charge up the shot and shoot it you can kind of see it here already um, it creates like these little volcanoes that zombies get stuck in and it starts burning them to death but you'll see again in a bit more detail there's another one, but again, I go into even more detail than that, which you'll see in a second. <coughs> and there we go. That's what happens to the zombies. They all get incinerated, as you can see, and that's it. And yes, I did use Remaker to do it, but what I will do is leave you with a picture of the bow. Oh, or zombies burning, actually. It'd be better. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's the upgrade process tutorial for the fire or earth bow <sighs> right so i've got to confess creating this tutorial was an absolute nightmare <laughs> it took a long time to try and get this one created and to try and make it um understandable and explainable and show the steps in reasonable detail for phoenix did not even remotely make my life easy when it came to making this tutorial. He possibly made it so difficult, but there you go. Um, um, he is now created, as you can tell, um, and you have your little tutorial for this. But now, I hope that this was in enough depth for you. Obviously, if you have any questions at all at any point, don't hesitate to message me or leave a comment in the uh, comments of the video asking how to do it because I might not have completely explained it in the best possible way. I kind of tend to sort of explain things to this bow in a bit of a brief way, but um, I try and go in as much depth as I possibly can for doing the explanation of this video's tutorial, um, which I try to do. I might have confused you at certain points, and I apologise if I have, but um, 
it's just me trying to explain as best as I possibly can how to do each step. But obviously, like I said, if you have any questions at all at any point, then please do not hesitate to ask me. I will reply and give you an answer um, <clears throat> and tell you what you're stuck on and how to do it, basically. Um, so yes, I hope I made this tutorial reasonably understandable for you. Uh, I appreciate you guys waiting for this tutorial. Uh, well, it took a while to go back and redo a course, and I had done all the other bow tutorials and hoped that I could get this one out literally straight after, but that was a no go. And I had to go back and re edit this and get it done again, which sucked, but there you go. Um, but I tried my best, and at least it's now around and out for you guys, which is good. <laughs> That's what I wanted to do. Uh, but yes, at least it's now ready for you guys, and you guys can go and watch this and uh, figure out what you need to do. So anyway, that's the Firebow tutorial. I will say this is the way that I look at the Firebow. The Firebow is great. It does a lot of damage. It's quite useful. But <laughs> if you're using this bow, if you're doing a solo Easter egg and you're using this bow, don't bother using this bow for the solo easter egg, get the electric bow for that. It is like the bow that you should use during an easter egg, it's a brilliant bow, get stuff done precisely as you need it to, it will help you out in every possible way. So honestly, if you're using this bow for an easter egg and you're on your own, don't bother. If you're playing with someone else or others and you're doing the easter egg, then if someone else has the electric bow, I highly recommend picking this bow up as the second bow, because this bow is pretty OP. Um, it's a really good bow, this bow. It does a lot of damage, and it helps out an awful lot. The only thing that I will say it's not that brilliant for, unfortunately, again, is the Panzer Soldats. It's always the Panzer Soldats, isn't it? The electric bow is probably like the only reasonable bow for the Panzer Soldats. The other bows do work on the Panzer Soldats, yes, but they don't work that well. And this bow, unfortunately, enters that category. <laughs> um, it doesn't really work that well on Panzer Soldats. It does work very well, though, on zombies in general, and also dogs. <laughs> so, yes, if you're doing an Easter egg with others, then I recommend you get the fire bow if you don't get the electric one. Um, this bow is definitely the second best, in my opinion, of the bows. Um, in the end, I've got to rate it as the electric one being the best, the fire bow being the second best, the wolf bow being the third, and then finally the skull one being the fourth best. Um, and I rate it on different things. A solo game of how useful it is, a general point gainer, <laughs> Also, um, an Easter egg, really, bow and uh, killing a Panzer Soldat. That's the way I rate these bows, um, with all those four different bits. And yes, that's how I rated them, in my opinion. So yeah, anyway, that's that. Um, I have to say thank you very much to Born Phoenix for actually <laughs> helping me out with this whole entire uh, bow tutorial, I mean, I could have gone and done it myself again along with the wolf bow, but they offered to help me out, uh, Bram Crimson and Born Phoenix, to do these bows uh, all in one game, which was a great idea, and in the end, I really appreciate their help. Obviously, I went and did two of the bows in this game, but they did the wolf and the fire bow, I really appreciate them doing that. And obviously, I couldn't have really brought this out to you guys uh, without their help at like the fast speed that I have. It would have probably taken me a lot longer to go and do them all by myself. Um, but yes, at least they helped me out, and I really appreciate them doing that. Um, and they didn't do a bad job either, <laughs> Crimson and Born Phoenix. They did a very good job. Um, I will admit. Brown Crimson made it a lot easier for me when it came to getting the parts of the steps that I needed. Uh, Born Phoenix didn't really do that, but there you go. <laughs> you can't win them all. Um, otherwise, that's 
that's it basically for this video and uh, if you haven't seen the other bow tutorials then go and check them out they're also very in-depth tutorials of the whole entire upgrade process going through it in a lot of detail a lot of depth and um, yes I do explain it very well for you guys and I know that the other bow tutorials have definitely gained a lot of love <laughs> for uh, me explaining it in a lot of process and detail for you so yeah anyway that's it for this video if you could leave a like i really appreciate that obviously no pressure um or i'm not forcing you either um if you're new to my channel and you've just seen this video or whatever in general uh check out my channel as well for all the other videos that i do which is not just on me today and i do do other videos like star wars battlefront um other star wars games and just in general different games uh, on my channel that you can go and check out and I do a lot of tutorials as well. And uh, yeah, but that's pretty much it. <laughs> so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like I said, if you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask me. I will answer them. Uh, otherwise, I will see you guys in the next video.